Ahoy hoy, today we need to talk about something. When I did my last video, I had done a certain amount of investigation as to what was going on with the SCP Wiki with regards to the sudden changes of policy to increase the age requirements on the wiki and what was going on to cause that, what was made the turnover in the harassment team happen. And I had found enough information that at least a couple of people I knew, one I knew pretty well and one I knew not that well, were involved in some pretty shady shit. Now I want to say, whilst making this video, I will not be naming names as much as I think some people would prefer it if I did, for two reasons. First of all, naming names myself without actually talking to any victims, and even if I did talk to victims of these uh, predators, <laughs> which is the only real way to describe these people, um, would still be taking the agency out of the victim's hands. So if they want to inform more people of who these people are, they can. But secondly, it's a bit selfish, to be honest with you, I do not believe I have enough certainty to what I would consider, let's say, a legal certainty. If I were to be taken to court for uh, um, slander or libel, do I believe that I have enough evidence currently to defend myself against a slander or libel claim by labeling somebody a child predator? And I do not believe that is the case. And even if it was the case, I don't have the money for a lawyer. So. We're not going to be naming names, but what we will talk about are events. There have been multiple cases where site members, and in some cases staff members, have been involving themselves in erotic role play with underaged users. The changes proposed on the site right now are to increase the age limit to 18 over a period of three years to phase it in. Uh, and to prevent people from using their status as staff in their profiles on sites who are devoted to not safe for work content, like not necessarily content or even interactions, for example. And finally, there's supposed to be a way to handle complaints a little bit better by the uh, SCP Wiki staff. Only really one of those things is about protecting children from potential predators on the SCP Wiki. Um, and that is allowing for a more uh, available anonymous complaints system. Uh, raising the age on the wiki makes it seem like you're... Oh, and a splash page. I forgot about that. A splash page for explicit content on the wiki. Okay. Neither... That doesn't do anything either. All of these things are not about protecting children, but more about protecting the wiki from legal or civil liability. That's all of a splash page on top of content where you have to click and say, of course I'm 18 does, because it doesn't actually prevent children from accessing the content, clearly. <laughs> it's just you doing as little as possible to avoid being sued over it or to be charged criminally for it. Um, and the same thing goes for raising the age on the SCP Wiki because people will just lie. Um, they're, as I said, they're not about protecting children. They're about protecting the wiki from children. Um, I don't necessarily think that that is a bad thing, to be fair. I think it's just important to make clear what it is. I mean, and the don't use your uh, position as staff to get people <laughs> to interact with you in sexually explicit ways off-site rule that they're instituting uh, is just a basic sort of, like, human uh, decency thing, which is, it's always irritates me when people take things that are supposed to be basic human decency and just like, let's make a rule out of that, because we can't trust people. Um, if you really wanted to protect children from sexually explicit content on the SCP Wiki, you would accept, first of all, that no matter what you think should be true, you, in your brain, you're like, okay, children should not be allowed to access the SCP Wiki. That is my belief. And I don't know if that's my personal belief, but let's say that we're in the mind of that person. Separate that from reality, where children will access the site, okay? So when you choose to post sexually explicit content to the SCP Wiki, 
if you do not understand this, I am making it clear now. You are choosing to expose children to sexually explicit content. And you can make a decision as to whether or not censorship, there's a censorship issue here. There's a discussion to be had about how to make this work and how to best like prevent these problems. But you still have to accept what you're doing regardless of whether or not you think it should or shouldn't be a particular way. And I say this as someone who personally finds that kind of content, yeah, to be honest with you, overly gory content and sexually explicit content on the SCP Wiki makes me, a 34-year-old dude with gray in his beard, uncomfortable. And I don't read it, generally. And if I do read it and I hit one of those points, I'm usually going to reach for the downvote button. Uh, but there is an audience for it on the SCP Wiki, certainly. I'm going to say this, because this is super important to both. I'm going to have two messages here. One is to SCP authors and SCP uh, staff members. First of all, obviously, don't use your positions of influence or power to, <laughs> to coerce anyone, underage or not, into, <laughs> not coerce even, to, through ignorance even, <laughs> allow other people to think that engaging in sexually explicit behavior with you will benefit them somehow, okay? You don't even have to make the offer. You need to be conscious of the way other people view you. And this is ironic, because, um, was it two years ago now, roughly? Uh, I got in trouble on the SCP Wiki for advertising too much, and quote-unquote, using my reputation. One, one of the people who is... <laughs> One of the people who is named and who I have enough certainty to personally believe was involved in this bullshit told me that I was using my reputation on the wiki as an author, because that's all I was at the time, using my reputation on the wiki as an author to trick people into reading my works. <laughs> so there is some irony here, um, which... <laughs> I don't want to get into that kind of stuff, but yeah, like I was using my reputation as an author to advertise too much, and that was a cause for <laughs> that was cause for disciplinary measures. But this gets swept under the rug by the harassment team. It really irritates me, uh, but uh, it's not about me. It's about <laughs> it's about you and about the audience that we're dealing with here. The audience for SCP content skews younger. Okay. There are plenty of adults, and hopefully most of them are above the age of 15, but even between the ages of 15 and 18, still a problem, honestly. And yeah, they're fixing that. But even children, at the, to be fair, people might not appreciate this very much, but even when you reach the age of 18, there's still exploitation going on. Like, this, this, is, this is about age, too, but outside of that, don't exploit your positions to get sexually <laughs> explicit behaviors out of somebody else. And if you see it happening, just, like, this, if so much could be solved if people could just not do sexual things on the internet. But that is impossible to avoid. Like... It's just, th I, that is, again, I was just talking earlier about how, like, this is how the world is when it's versus how the world should be. So, of course, it's going to happen, right? But I'm telling you, if you're an author or a staff member and you're watching this and you're really irritated that I'm do doing something on this because you don't think, because not all staff members are like that. <laughs> it's not about that. It's, it's, it's not even about being, it's not even about intentionally exploiting people. You can do it without saying anything, without like being explicit about it. If you allow people to interact with you in that way and you have a position of power or authority, you are exploiting them, even if you did not explicitly ask them to do things in return for a favor. Period. That's the whole reason why they're creating a policy not to use your, you know, say that I'm SCP staff on off-site things that involve sexually explicit whatevers. That's the whole point of that. Because it's not about making the offer. It's about understanding how other people perceive you. But this message is for anyone on the SCP Wiki, especially the underage kids. 
but anyone, and then I say this because I know from my analytics that they, the ages range from anywhere from 13 to, uh, 13 to 64. So there's, there's a huge wide range of people, but this is critically important. Do not under any circumstances, use sexual behaviors to get something you want. Okay. And if you feel uncomfortable with what someone has asked you to do, regardless of if they have explicitly said, I want you to do this or else I'll use my authority against you, or I want you to do this and I'll use my authority to help you, regardless of if they use the words, if you feel uncomfortable with a situation, talk to an adult that you trust and just have a convert. You don't have to, you, you're not telling on anyone. Just have a conversation about how it makes you feel and talk out what you think you should and shouldn't do. And let someone know, okay? And don't be embarrassed. There's no embarrassment to be had over this kind of thing. Everyone is gonna either be those ages or has been those ages at some point. And, uh, and they've been super awkward and not understood how, this, how you know social norms or uh, just generally uh, socializing works, right? I mean, you get to the SCP Wiki, and this is especially, especially true of people in the LGBTQ plus community, because those people, you know, may see the SCP Wiki as a place where they can finally feel accepted, right? And then people will exploit them based on the idea that, you know, these people have let their guard down because this is finally a place where they can be who they really are. And then they get exploited by other members of their own community or by people outside of their community who just can't keep it in their pants. I really do feel like if the SCP Wiki cared enough about preventing this problem, they would accept that a large portion of the viewers of a, a particular page were, are unregistered and maybe below the age of 18. So you're still exposing them to content that they should not be exposed to. You can put, and you can put a warning on it all you want to and go, where are their parents? But the reality of the situation is still the reality of the situation. That doesn't change. What you want things to be doesn't change what things are. Okay? That's all I'm saying. But anyway, this is very <laughs> critically important. I am <laughs> really disappointed. And disappointed is, is too weak of a word, but it's the only word I can think of right now that's wholly appropriate. I am very disappointed in several members of the community right now. And I, I don't know if there's any fixing it because a lot of this rot, okay. It's important not to be too reactionary too. Like you can get so sure of your own moral righteousness that any behaviors and any, any, any words you, any words are okay to say about somebody because you're sure you're right. Okay, so that, that's another thing of not naming names. It's very important for you to understand that maybe you're wrong, but like the evidence for some of these people is so overwhelming that you, those people just need to leave the community. Like that's your contrition. That's something that a lot of people never get when they apologize for something. They're like, I'm apologizing so I can get back in. You don't do that. If you believe you did something wrong sometimes, if it's serious enough, leave. Volunteer. If you're really sorry, if you really want to make amends, stop exposing other people to you. That's all I'm saying. Leave. Go to other communities. Don't do the things in those communities. Anyway, that's all I really wanted to talk about today. It's uh, It's been weighing on my mind all weekend. And by the way, I'm healthy enough to be on camera again. I'm not feeling great, but I'm still better. My foot's still swollen up though. <laughs> Yep, yeah, still swelling. I, uh, I sleep with it elevated and it kind of, I wake up and it's fine and then it starts to swell up as I'm sitting here. So I don't know what the hell to do. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here. Neither are you. I'll see you all again on Thursday.